especially the Ninth Amendment. The Ninth Amendment is very, very important. The Ninth and Tenth Amendments summarize the Constitution. The Ninth Amendment said that the, the fact that we listed some of your rights is not intended to deny or disparage the other rights you retain. What does that mean? That means that this was only a partial listing of our rights. Our founders worried about putting in a Bill of Rights because they thought someday somebody would come along and say that's all the rights you have. And that's pretty much where we are today. But our founders believed that we had many other rights. The right to walk alongside the stream and plow the ground and court a girl, get married and have children. None of those rights are listed in the Constitution, but they are just as much a part of our unalienable rights as the rights that are listed. Then we have uh, Amendments 11 to 27. In summary, ah, let's bring it home. The Constitution is a contract or agreement that bound together 13 and now 50 sovereign nation states in a mutual defense pact like NATO and a free trade zone like the European Economic Community or NAFTA. And that is what was meant by a more perfect union. It also gave the central government limited powers to do certain things that the states could not easily or reasonably do for themselves like man, man and navy. The states wanted to, re, to, to preserve to themselves all other prerogatives of sovereign states. It also describes and promises to protect our freedoms as citizens. So. But what do we have today? We have an unlimited government that can do anything it please, pleases. States have become puppets. Public servants have become masters. Citizens have become subjects. And rights have become privileges to be dispensed by the state. Well, what do, today we're in the middle of a mudslide toward Marxism or statism. What can we do? Well, we can do the same thing we've always done and expect a different result, but that would be the definition of insanity. So we could try something different. Read and understand the United States Constitution for ourselves. It is your obligation as a citizen. Explain it to everyone who will listen. Defend the basics of limited government and unalienable rights. We've got to make freedom fashionable again. And then demand that our elected officials honor their oath. Fight like our lives depended on it. Fight like our children's lives depended on it. Martin Luther, his life was in danger, it was on the line. And he said, here I stand, I can do no other. God help me. And I'll leave you with this quote of Ronald Reagan. You and I have a rendezvous with destiny. We will preserve for our children this, the last best hope of man on earth or we will sentence them to take the first step into a thousand years of darkness. If we fail, at least let our children and our children's children say of us that we justified our brief moment here. We did all that could be done. Thank you.